Since the German period 12,000 years ago, people have lived in Rokashu village in Amori prefecture. Now this small village is at the heart of a grand project to change the future of humankind. Our research aims to create an artificial sun on Earth. We have successfully accelerated the pulse beam. A great technological breakthrough. What is that project? Fusion energy. Can you imagine if we could generate energy semi-permanently with inexhaustible fuel that does not emit carbon dioxide? We can develop the ultimate environmentally friendly energy resource. Where is that energy? The answer is in the universe around us. Fusion energy is the same energy that makes the sun and stars shine. At the sun's core, hydrogen nuclei with a pressure of 250 billion atmospheres and 15 million degrees Celsius undergo a nuclear fusion reaction, generating enormous energy. The idea is to bring the mechanism of solar energy to the ground. Is fusion energy the same as nuclear fission in nuclear power generation? No. In nuclear power generation, the fission reaction is controlled using several years worth of fuel in pile. Fusion energy, however, is extremely safe because it supplies fuel from the outside like a gas burner and can be stopped immediately in an emergency. The big advantage of fusion energy is that using just one gram of fuel, we can produce as much energy as from eight tons of petroleum. Both the deuterium and lithium are easily extracted from seawater. The future of humankind will be transformed if we can extract an inexhaustible fuel from the sea. Our project involves the cooperation of seven parties, including the European Union and Japan. An international megascience project is underway to build a huge fusion experimental reactor in France called ITER, with the aim of developing such an ultimate energy source. The Rocasso Fusion Institute provides a vital support for ITER's scientific and technological work. Within the broader approach activities it supports several projects we will now look at IFERC. The IFERC project supports ITER with the cooperation from Japan and Europe. Uh, specifically, we are engaged in projects such as the Computational Simulation Center activities and the ITER Remote Experimentation Center activities. At the Computational Simulation Center are supercomputers have the capacity of 100,000 personal computers. Here large-scale simulations, experimental predictions and analysis are carried out. The ETA Remote Experimentation Center enables researchers in ETA centers in France and Japan to participate in joint experiments. One of our successes was a remote experiment with the French tokamak device known as WEST. If the burning experiment at ITER is successful, the next step will be to build a fusion reactor called DEMO. IFERC also coordinates the design and development of prototype reactors and blanket materials. The IFERC project of Rokasho Fusion Institute is a very important project in which researchers from Japan and Europe are working hard towards the realization of fusion energy. In Japan too, researchers from various institutes are working together to develop DEMO. We are researching and developing the DEMO that will generate electricity for the first time using fusion energy. The DEMO will succeed the experimental reactor ITER being constructed in France and it will generate hundreds of thousands of kilowatts. 
This is the future demo that is currently being designed. The first proposed power plant using fusion energy will be known as JA Demo. The main body of the fusion reactor is approximately 40 meters in diameter. It is a mechanism that converts the fusion energy into heat energy to generate electricity. There is a particularly large facility located at the Rocasso Fusion Institute. We use a device that is 36 meters in length, requiring the cooperation of a team of Japanese and European researchers and engineers. Another project of broader approach activities. If MIF Aveda is being carried out here, in a fusion reactor, high energy and high neutron flux are generated by nuclear reaction. And here, our objective is then to develop and qualify the matter required for the fusion reactor. And particularly in Rokasho Fusion Institute, we are currently developing a prototype accelerator to validate the low energy part of the future accelerator for the fusion neutron source facility, uh, which will be built for ultimately qualify the material to be used in this fusion reactor. When a nuclear fusion reaction occurs in a fusion reactor, particles with extremely high energy called neutrons are generated. Therefore, it is necessary to develop materials that can resist the impact of neutrons on the surface of the fusion reactor vessel. Very high flux neutrons with high energy do not exist on the Earth. In order to generate the neutrons, we are developing a device called the Neutron Source by using an accelerator which accelerates particles and emits them as a beam. This fusion neutron source requires the very powerful accelerator to achieve the world's largest power and maximum current. So far, we have successfully accelerated the pulse beam with the world's largest current and we are currently making efforts towards the success of steady state acceleration. At the Rokasso Fusion Institute, HETA test blanket module is being carried out as part of the ETA project. We are developing the device called the blanket that extracts heat for power generation inside the fusion reactor and produces tritium as fuel. The blanket is a very important component that converts the energy generated by fusion plasma into heat and produces tritium as fuel. We are developing a test blanket module in Rokasho which we plan to send to ITA for verification. We will acquire the necessary data via the verification tests and contribute to the blanket design of future demo. A facility for blanket research and development was also completed in 2021. And one of the important researchers in the blanket development is to recover lithium, which produces the fuel for fusion energy, from seawater. The point is that the membrane is used to recover lithium from seawater and it is the world's first technology to use the iron conductor which is being developed as a material for next generation lithium ion batteries as a separation membrane for lithium recovery from seawater. There is already huge demand for lithium batteries so there is great interest internationally in the work we are doing. Our aim is to produce a form of fusion energy that is both safe and inexhaustible. The world will be a better place if we rely on renewable energy sources and clean energy sources that do not emit CO2. We aim to provide a bright future for all future generations. Our great challenge has just begun.